In your book, The Complete Lyrics, there's a transcription of a, of a sort of a lecture you held about the sacred life of a love song. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about that? All of us wasn't at the, the South Bank Center when you read it. Well, it's just... Um, I was asked to do a... Uh, I was asked to teach at the uh, Poetry Academy in Vienna and uh, you come for a week there and you teach these adult students um, and uh, part of the thing is that you have to give a public lecture on the topic that you're going to teach about before you do it you know this is one of the requirements to do this and uh, that was the lecture that I wrote basically the, I, I went to teach about the love song in particular and uh, that essay or that lecture is that lecture. Did you discover while writing it? Did you discover a lot about your own writing? Yeah, I did. And in teaching as well, and in, in, in doing this, this, this teaching. Um, I don't know what, but I, but I had to, I had to kind of pull back and examine what I was doing, and. Uh, that was um, kind of helpful, I guess. Was it a, a new process for you to, to in the work? Like, it's not always that we analyze ourselves or our motives in our work. Um, no, I suppose it's not, and, and I don't do that at all. You know, I don't listen to my own records, or I don't, I, I never play my own records. And, um, you know, for, for me, it's, 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 um, I was reading a, uh, an interview with, um, the singer from Radiohead, Tom York. Tom York, and his girlfriend, or wife, or whoever she is, had said something to him, which he, which he quoted, which was, um, "Be proud of what you've done, but don't look back." Something like that, and uh, and I thought that they were quite, quite kind of wise words and and very applicable to myself in the sense that I don't look back on what I've done. Um, I don't feel I feed off uh, past things, or um, and I don't actually have that much interest in what I've done uh, or, or the or the past. Um, although I do have a vague sense of pride about it at times. So, um, uh, so yeah, so it was quite, uh, I guess, it was c kind of interesting for me to have to do that when, when I wrote that lecture. But, but, but the lecture itself was intended to be a kind of, uh, a piece of, literature in itself, you know, um, as well. So it was moving forward as well. It wasn't just kind of waffling on about things I've done, you know. Can you just tell us a little bit about the essence of what you said? Thank you. Well, it was about a lot of things. It was, it was basically, it's concerned about uh, the, the need um, for sorrow in a love song, basically. It was um, it was originally uh, entitled, you know, "Sorrow and the Love Song" or something like that, um, and it was kind of some sort of examination about that, um, and also the power of the songs themselves to, um, and the influence that the songs themselves can have over the writer's own life. Uh, and in a strange way that they kind of dictate the terms of, of the way you, way you live. And the songs themselves have a greater understanding of uh, the writer's life than the writer himself. But you've got to read it. Yeah, I've read it and I think certainly, especially the part where you, about that you can, some, in a way, fulfill the loss uh, of you write because you can uh, my English is not enough you write because you can uh, get closer to uh, 
to yourself and to God. In yeah, a way. well, there's that a aspect to it as well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, just uh, because I just want to uh, try to, to have one more question about if it's fine with yeah yeah yeah, uh, yeah, yeah about yeah, yeah. Uh, this uh, the way of this pro because in a way uh, you can motivate yourself from. Uh, if you have something hidden in your uh, life or uh, an experience that can be like some so sort of a motor to, or a motive to... Um, <coughs> well, it can. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I was... Uh, you know, I mean, I talked about the death of my father uh, quite a lot in that um, for different reasons, but... Um, um, I mean, uh, you know, and the inf and the influence of him over 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 you know over me. Um, yeah. You were just go and buy the thing. Everyone out there, go and buy it and read it. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I, it's difficult for me just to, to to just sort of talk. I mean, it, it took a long time to write, and it was carefully written, and um, you know. Do you want to do a round-up one? Pardon? Do you want to do a kind of round-up question? Yeah, or if, if it's... Uh, uh, I think it's brilliantly written. And it's oh, good. good. But... Um, mm -hmm. Future plans? No. <laughs> uh, Get old. Go senile. Mm. Now I just wanted to... to uh, Die. <laughs> to... Uh, the way you... Uh, 